Hey Virgo, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your mid-July general reading, so let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, so we have the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, so there could be something that's stressing you out, or maybe you feel defeated um, for something here. Hmm. All right, so we have the moon, the empress, the world, and the seven of cups. It really feels like you're stressing about the fact that you have a lot of choices to make. So it doesn't feel like it's a bad kind of stress. It's just like you're overwhelmed because there's a lot of unknowns. There's a lot of options. And at the end of the day, you're trying to figure something out that could affect really the rest of the year for you. The moon tells me that right now the unknown parts about this, the reason why it's difficult to make the decision is because it can go in a lot of different ways. And ultimately, I feel like you just want to make the choice that you can feel happy about, that you can feel empowered about. And for some reason, I feel like this could have to do with some sort of job or major life event. Like maybe you're trying to figure out, do I have to move in order to, you know, find a better um, career? Do I have to make a sacrifice and travel? Do I have to go far away in order to really find something that I'm looking for here? And so I think the Seven of Cups is you kind of trying to analyze and ask all of these questions and figure out, okay, which is the best opportunity or method for me here? So let's see if we can get some more insight. Let's clarify the world. All right, we have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So something tells me here that you're very much excited about a new opportunity, a life-changing opportunity. I feel like you could get the chance to travel. Maybe you're traveling for work. Maybe you're moving, right? Uh, there's something about you starting over somewhere else. And that is both, again, very exciting, but also scary. It's interesting that we see the Ace of Cups and the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you're seeing the pros and cons of this situation very clearly, and they almost weigh the same. It's almost like if you can write down the list of pros and the list of cons, they would look very similar because I think that they both kind of have um, elements that you're okay with and not okay with. Maybe moving, um, it's exciting because you are going to get this new opportunity, you get to start over, new life, new chapter, but then maybe the Three of Swords is indicating that moving would mean you have to, you know, maybe walk away from some friendships or some distance from family, right? Like there's always pros and cons, but it feels like they're equal to your standards. You're, they're equal to what you believe like your your values your beliefs everything is kind of being put into question but honestly virgo i feel like at this time the excitement of what this new you know life journey can give you is more appealing than staying where you're at because we have wheel of fortune two of wands and page of wands to further clarify the world so that means that you're looking for adventure here you're looking for something new you're looking for an exciting time um, where you can learn more about yourself, where you can really explore something here. I feel like if this is about a career, then this is something you've wanted to do for a long time. And you've been searching for an opportunity and you're finally getting it. And you're just like, why would I say no to this? Two of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune also tells me that things are going to change a lot in your near future if you decide to go in a particular direction here. I feel like you've been making plans to do this for a very long time. And now that it's being presented to you, I just feel like you're starting to think about all of the ways that your life can change and you're very happy about it. So I think that right now you're just kind of like, you know, is this the right way for me to go? Should I be okay with this? Like you're trying to factor in um, how you feel, but ultimately there's, there's a lot of like dedication to this. I feel like you've been wanting this. You've been planning for this. You've been manifesting this for a long time and now you're finally getting it. So I think that really the choice is clear. Uh, there's still some things you're trying to figure out. So let's clarify the moon. All right, we have the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And I definitely think that this is those feelings of not wanting to abandon certain aspects of your old life. Maybe you're um, scared of losing friendships or losing people. But honestly, I feel like the Five of Pentacles could also be talking about the fact that there have been certain moments where you've sacrificed your happiness for others. And now that you're doing this for you, maybe someone else is starting to feel kind of like the shift. Um, 
maybe this could represent the fact that someone that you love is feeling sad that you're leaving but it's also like they understand that if you don't take this opportunity you'll never know and you'll be stuck with the what ifs so it almost feels like a very mutual energy of i'm sad that i'm leaving or i'm sad that you're going but i also know that if you don't try you'll never find out um like someone here doesn't want to be selfish in holding you back from this but they also will feel sad that you're leaving so we have the knight of pentacles queen of pentacles and the three of swords to clarify the moon so a lot of what's unknown here could also have to do with the fact that someone is afraid of maybe losing a relationship altogether maybe you don't love the idea of a long distance relationship but i also sense that someone is willing to make this work i feel like you've maybe already been in a relationship with someone and it's been moving slowly but there's a lot of um desire to make it work there's a lot of investment here i feel like something is going to definitely almost overcome the three of swords but i think that right now the unknown of the situation is what's making kind of this feeling feel worse because when you don't know something and you can only anticipate worst case scenario it's kind of difficult to imagine that it all works out in the end but honestly i think that both people involved here are very much dedicated to making this work because they don't want to lose something here so if this is something you resonate with and you are in a relationship i feel like the person that you're with they want you to be happy and they want you to go after what you love but they're just afraid that they'll lose you completely all right let's clarify the empress All right, three of wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like the question here is, Virgo, will you stay or will you go? Because I feel like the Empress is saying that you have the choice to make here. You're being given this opportunity for a reason. And you're so close to making that decision. You're so close to taking that first move. And I really think that a part of you is seeing this as a chance to, you know, really do something that you love here and that gives you excitement and hope. And I think the star is saying this could be a really big thing for you that changes your life forever and i think that you are just you know you're contemplating making that move um and to further clarify the empress we also have page of cups nine of cups and six of pentacles i feel like this is you kind of realizing if the person that i'm with is willing to um work this out with me then they will i feel like six of pentacles is you hoping to see that exchange in effort you hoping to see that balance um and that investment honestly page of cups and nine of cups tells me that you are both giving to yourself and also um like this is like self-care and self-love because you're giving yourself an opportunity to maybe you know travel or go somewhere new or have a different type of work environment but you're also believing in yourself at the same time so it's not just self-fulfillment but it's self-love it's self-care there's a lot of things that you're doing here to honor you and I feel like when it comes to your relationships, you're thinking in terms of, you know, if they really wanted to, then they would be there for me. They would support me. So I feel like the Six of Pentacles is you kind of redefining the balance in your life and not maybe giving so much to others, but really giving more to yourself and allowing that to be what moves you forward. Because um, I feel like a lot of you have been giving to your relationships. You've been nurturing your, you know the people in your life and now the empress is saying it's time to do it for you it's time to put all of that and redirect it to yourself and what you really love so this page of cups and nine of cups is really that self-love that self-fulfillment um and you moving forward in your own direction all right let's clarify the seven of cups All right, Ten of Swords. Yeah, it all goes back to that. This is what we saw at the very beginning. I just feel like right now you're overwhelmed with maybe everything involved in the situation. You're overwhelmed with the decisions, maybe just the move in general, all the things you have to think about, right? Moving is kind of complicated. You have to think about expenses, traveling, all of that stuff. So maybe you're just feeling overwhelmed at this time, but that's okay. Um, it's one of the many things that you know we have to deal with when we're doing something really exciting and new in our lives. So we have the King of Cups, Knight of Wands, and Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And I feel like this is simply the universe saying, I know that it's easier said than done to not worry, but don't. Because you are exactly where you need to be. You deserve this opportunity. 
and you're not as lost as you think. I think Knight of Wands and King of Cups is saying that you have both the determination and the passion for this, but you're also divinely guided through this. Um, you're in this position for a reason. Some of you just need to allow yourselves to accept that and allow that if you want to go in this direction, it's because your soul um, is asking for it. You know, you really need to trust your intuition at this time and go after what you love. And I feel like there's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of abundance and really what we need to do is just let go of those doubts and those worries and just trust that we're being guided for a reason. So really, really amazing reading for you, Virgo. If you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.